This video will show you how to create a type of roof support for your log cabin. Begin by creating a new part document. Go to the front plane and click on Sketch. In the Sketch tab, pick the Line tool. Draw the sketch as follows. Click on the small arrow next to the line tool and then choose center line. Draw the center line as shown. You can get out of the center line tool by clicking on center line again. Click on center line and now draw the second center line as shown. Right click and click on select. Then click on smart dimension. Click on the first center line and the diagonal edge. Give this an angle of 60 degrees. Click on the top line and give it a dimension of 10. Click on the second center line and give it a dimension of 15. Click on the small vertical line on the left and then the center line. Give these a dimension of 10 and this will be the distance they are apart from one another. Then click on the two center lines and give them a distance of 90. Then exit the sketch. Go to the features tab and click on extrude bar space. Enter a depth of 20 and choose mid-plane for the end condition. Click OK. Right click on materials and choose edit material. Scroll down and select oak. Click on apply and then close this window. Go to the front view. Right click on the face and then go to the sketch tab. In the sketch tab, pick center rectangle. Click on the bottom right corner and draw the center rectangle as shown. Click on smart dimension and give a vertical edge the dimension of 10. Click on a horizontal edge and give it a dimension of 40. Apply and exit the sketch. Go to the Features tab and click on Extruded Cut. Choose Through All for the end condition and click OK. Click on the extruded cut you just created and then click Linear Pattern. For the direction, pick this edge as shown. Give it a distance of 20 between pattern instances. Enter 4 for the number of instances and click OK. Click on this top surface as shown and pick Sketch. Then go to your top view. Go to the Sketch tab and pick the Circle tool. Draw a circle on this surface. Click on Smart Dimension and give this a circle a diameter of 5. Click on the right edge and the center of the circle and give it a dimension of 10. Click on center line. Click on the center of the circle and the right edge of the part. Control click on this point and this edge and choose midpoint. Click on the center line and give it a horizontal relation. The sketch is now black, which means it is fully defined. Go to the Features tab and click on Extruded Cut. Choose Through All for the end condition, and then click OK to apply it. Go to the front view. 
right click on this surface and click sketch in the sketch tab pick corner rectangle and draw a corner rectangle starting at the lower left corner click on smart dimension and give a horizontal edge the dimension of 30 give a vertical edge the dimension of 5 go to the features tab and click on extruded cut choose through all for the end condition and then click OK next go to the bottom view click on this surface as shown and pick sketch go to the sketch tab click on the circle tool and draw a circle click on smart dimension and click on the circle to give it a dimension of 5 click on the center of the circle and the right edge as shown and give this a dimension of 10 then exit out of smart dimension by right clicking and clicking on select while holding the control key click on the center of the circle and the origin and add a horizontal relation go to the features tab and click on extruded cut enter a depth of 5 click OK next go to the top view rotate the model a bit right click on this surface and pick sketch in the sketch tab click on the circle tool draw a circle as shown click on smart dimension to give this circle a dimension of 5 click on the center of the circle and this edge and enter a dimension of 10 right click and click select to exit out a smart dimension click on center line click on the center of the circle and that edge add a horizontal relation to this line control click on the point and this edge and choose the midpoint relation apply the sketch and then go to features choose extruded cut enter a depth of 5 and click OK in the features tab click on linear pattern for the direction pick this edge then click on features to pattern and click on the hole you just created flip the direction by clicking on these arrows here for the distance between instances enter 28 and set the number of instances to 4 then click OK you are now done with this part so save it.